welcome back guys it's jerry and uh, wanted to share with you some recent vintage pickups over the course of the last couple months i'm um, going to shops going to shows sorting through dollar bins i'm always looking for a vintage i don't have and that i collect and i just want to share that with you and um, as you know um, it is harder and harder to find these things and it's getting more expensive um, a lot of people are transitioning over to vintage cards. I'm a vintage collector. I do like modern cards as well. I'm a Royals fan. So if you see some random Royals stuff in here, you know why. But let's get started. All right, first card. I found this actually in a dollar bin, believe it or not. Um, this is actually a Ron Santa rookie card from Post Serial. It's hand cut. And it's uh, 1961, so I was really uh, happy to find that. I did not have a Santa rookie in my collection. So, snagged that. Same seller. Also found this Rich Richie Allen rookie, 64 tops. Not the best condition, but this guy's a future Hall of Famer. He was a star player in his era. So, I had to grab that. Uh, I found a couple of these. Uh, newly inducted Hall of Famer, Jim Cott. This one has writing. This is creased. It really didn't matter. This is, uh, you know, this is for my collection. But newly inductee into the Hall of Fame. This guy had a really long career. Really good defensive pitcher. Could also swing the bat a little bit. So Jim Cott, rookie. And um, here's some just kind of random pickups that I, uh, they're good deals. These are in a dollar box. But Nellie Fox, Hall of Famer for the Sox. Also found this uh, Aparicio, another Hall of Famer. Early win. These were all in a dollar box, so couldn't pass it up. Austin Howard. There's the 77 Dawson rookie. It's a cup card, 78. It's another cot. It's Gil Hodges. Obviously, it's miscut, but still a pretty cool card. 59 of Ratio. And here's a 75 Brett SSPC. This is actually a rookie. I already have one of these and a great in a nine mint, but always looking to add more Bretts to my collection. This is a, kind of a, an obscure set, but it's actually um, more rare than the 75 tops. Um, simple design. They try to emulate the 53 Bowman color. Really cool set, but that is a Brett rookie. Um, Bill Buckner, 70 tops rookie. Uh, this one was uh, one that, you know, I'm not a big fan of this guy, but I really like the set, and this is his rookie, Bill Lamb. Sorry about that. Um, and, of course, 81 tops, Bill Lambeer. This guy was an enforcer in his day with the bad boys and the Pistons. Um, basically quit basketball after he punched Isaiah Thomas in the face at a practice. So, I don't really like Isaiah Thomas. Didn't care for him. But this is a rookie card of his. And I like the 81 set, especially the Magic and the Bird cards from there. Their first uh, solo cards. All right, here's a uh, 72 tops, Daryl Porter rookie. This guy was actually a World Series MVP. He is from Missouri. Um, also played for the Royals, so cool card I like to collect. Um, 73 tops, Mike Schmidt rookie. So arguably arguably the best third baseman of all time, um, at least uh, hitting-wise. You also have a uh, all-star Ron Say. Uh, had a great career, so really nice card. Love 73 um, tops. I love early 70s tops cards um not the best condition but this is a great card for a collector and be surprised what those kind of go for now even in the lower grade um 75 tops hank aaron every time i see this card i have to buy it if i see a good price on it i already have one in a high grade but just love hank aaron um from what i've seen i mean you know watching some of his game film and his hitting and like home run derbies him willie mays Mickey Mantle were the three best of that era, and I'd probably say that he was the best hitter. Mays was probably the best defender, and maybe Mickey was the best overall. But um, his numbers, um, you know, are uh, RBIs, home runs, 
they may never be topped. So really love Hank Aaron collecting him. All right, going back to 75 tops, we got a Fred Lynn rookie. So he was a key player in the 70s, early 80s, all-star for the Red Sox. Uh, we got a 75 tops Keith Hernandez rookie, Argu arguably the best fielding first baseman of all time. Should be in the Hall of Fame. His numbers are right there. I mean, his hitting was not the best ever, but when you look at his war, I mean, he's right there. So I think we'll get in eventually. And we have the Jim Rice rookie, so Hall of Famer. Uh, you know, a lot of people say he was somewhat outspoken and controversial, but, you know, I think it was in the late 70s, maybe early 80s, when a fan was struck with a ball, and he was the only person that acted. He ran to the stands, took that kid, and uh, saved his life. Um, got him help. So, 75 Rice rookie. Here's a card I just like, a little insert card showing the 57 tops, Mantle and Aaron. The uh, the, the reverse <laughs> with Aaron batting lefty. Um, just a cool card. Love the images. Love those two cards. All right. 72 tops is a set I also like to collect. So Richie Allen. So then we got Ted Simmons, who's now in the Hall of Fame. Um, here's one that's kind of interesting. The uh, I believe this is 60 Fleer, Ted Williams. He had a little set. He was still playing at this time, so this actually playing day is Ted Williams. Um, just has the whole story of his career kind of in the set. So kind of cool. We got a 67 Reggie Smith rookie, seven time All Star. Career war at 65. There's definitely worse guys in the Hall of Fame than Reggie Smith, so thought I'd pick that one up. Sal Bando, 67 tops rookie. Um, if you look at the numbers, this guy's top 10 third baseman all time, Kansas City Athletics, and uh, had to have that one for my collection. Last one, uh, Tommy Agee, rookie. This guy was the Miracle Mets center fielder. Um, nice card, so thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate all the uh, positive feedback, and I will uh, keep bringing you these videos as I uh, acquire cards over the next few months. Take it easy.